Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with this amazing video shared by SpaceX, captured from one of the Fahrenheit half's camera from Starlink last launch. We can see here the 13 satellites with direct to cell connectivity and the other 7 mini Starlink satellites. And we can see the second Fahrenheit half too. Today, and captured from La Padre's Nerdel camera, Super Heavy Booster 13 moved from the build site to the orbital launch site, will be lifted and mounted later on the orbital launch mount for static fire test in preparation for Starship Flight 6 next month. All thanks to La Padre, as always, for the amazing 24 7 live coverage around Starbase. Starship Gazer captured this amazing picture, the moment of the hostage ring being recovered, this one from the last Starship launch. This is Space Perspective Spaceship Neptune. Last month, they successfully tested all the systems needed to safely launch the capsule to 100,000 feet, plus 30,000 and 480 meters, and bring it back in a controlled descent, the ocean splashdown. A suitable spaceship Neptune cost $125,000. You get six hour experience in the sky with a slow speed of 12 mile per hour. Personally, I prefer to go on 20 zero G flights instead of this. Now we know the three members of the first crewed flight next year, Space Perspectives founders, Jane Pointer and Tabor McCallum, and the suborbital tourist, Richard Branson. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.